Hello friends, welcome to OFA Studies YouTube channel. This is part 48 in PySpark playlist. In this video, we will be discussing about JSON tuple function in PySpark. Before this video, we have already discussed about from JSON function and also we have discussed about to JSON function. So please watch them to understand this JSON tuple function also little more. So even if you don't watch these videos, you can directly watch this one also but because these two functions also belongs to json so it will be good if you watch them too so let's go to this json tuple function and let's try to understand this practically so firstly this function will actually used when you want to extract elements from json string so let's assume you have a json string and in which you have something like id and name and age and all so now you want to extract only from few specific fields then how to do that so to do that this json tuple function will be very useful actually so i when i practically explain you this you will get more sense of it you can take that each element value as a separate column altogether in the data frame so let me practically show you this so let's go to my browser here i have already opened my database workspace and I have a notebook here called JSON tuple. Here, let's try to create a data frame here very quickly. So let's say a data variable which holds the data and it holds two tuples. Let's assume this is one tuple and this is another tuple. Each tuple represents one row. In first row, I have name like Mahir. And then here, here I have a string which holds a JSON, maybe like this. So maybe here, hair color of Mahir is like black and then maybe eye eye color of Mahir is like maybe brown and then maybe uh, skin skin color of Mahir is maybe brown okay so this entire thing will become one row actually now the second tuple value so maybe like Wafa okay and then the second column is JSON string so let me copy this json only as it is hair color of buffa is maybe black and eye color is maybe blue skin color is maybe white so let's try to use these values randomly and here i am creating a variable called schema name is one column and then properties is another column so now i want to create a data frame variable and i want to name it df so spark keyword will give you spark session object on top of that you have create data frame function to which i am supplying my data and schema and then finally i am using a show function to the show function let's use this truncate property value equals to false because i want to print the full data in the console output when i visible the data frame as a table and then here i want to use print schema function to see the schema of my data frame so shift enter will execute this code and now I can see a name column and properties column here this entire thing is string actually the same thing you can sense it properties column is a string so this is a JSON string it's a string which holds JSON data now for some reason I want name column and then I want to get column called hair in which I should have a value black or maybe I want to take this I element value as a separate column or skin element value as a separate column basically i want to pick the elements from my json string and generate them as a new columns so if that is the use case then you have to go with this json tuple function so let me practically explain you this so here to do that firstly from pyspark dot sql dot functions module let's try to import json tuple function and here let me try to use a help function to see the json tuple function documentation so let me hit shift enter to execute this code and if you see the output here if i scroll down you can clearly see this function will take two parameters column and also it will take fields so this column is going to be your json string column that column you have to pass and then what and all the elements you want to pick you want to supply that element names as string values here actually so let me practically show you this or you can see the example here itself here there is a json string which has a elements like f1 and f2 and here they are passing 
this entire json string column to the json tuple function and then the element names they are passing as a strings so this will pick that elements as a separate columns so let me practically show you this so here what i will be doing is from my data frame i am using a select function to select values and i want to take the name property so if i do that it will take the name property alone right so i hope you have seen my select function video of the PySpark. You can see it will pick only the name column here. So similarly, I want to have I column and maybe skin column. So how to do that? What I can do here is uh, select this and here I should have a I column and then I should have a uh, maybe skin column. So if I write like this, it won't work. Why? Because there is no column called I and skin in my data frame. It has only name column and properties column. Properties column holds a JSON string in which we have elements called I and skin. So what I should be doing it here is instead of typing like this, I should use JSON tuple function and to this function, I should pass my properties column. Okay. And then I should pass the element names which I want to take. So I want to take I element and also I want to take skin element. So now let me hit shift enter to execute this code and see the output what it generates. So if you closely observe here it generated output correctly only. So name column came and this I column also came skin column also came but the column names are came like C0 and C1. So I want to give names for these columns. So what I can do here is I can use alias function. So if you have seen my previous videos, you know that. So I want to give an alias name for C0 column I and for C1 column like skin. So now if I execute by hitting shift enter, I should be able to see my results. So if you closely observe, I use the select name, then JSON tuple, then use the JSON string column and pass the elements which you want to take out from the json string and give alias names to it so if i see the output result here which it generates it clearly gives me back i column and skin column and you can compare the values here so i has a brown and blue values skin has brown and white values and it came exactly so this is how this json tuple function is very useful to take the elements from json string i hope you enjoyed this video Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to get the notifications whenever I add videos. Thank you so much.